hello 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 beautiful people how are you guys i am shay welcome back to my channel divine and gifted so my tripod has broken okay it's broke i don't know what's wrong with it i don't know what happened to it but it's broke so that leaves me here in a different in an awkward position with you guys okay but that's cool that's cool that's cool because we still gonna hop right in so how are you guys happy saturday i hope you guys are having a fantastic day i have been missing in action been really dealing with a lot of personal issues things um i talked about it in my group if you're not in my group please feel free to go ahead and um add the group make sure you just answer the questions she's the one divine and gifted but yeah so i am back like i like i never left but i'm here to just do a quick little weekend energy reading for the next 24 or 48 hours to see what the energy is for the weekend for the collective okay might look into some love as well okay so let's see Spirit will message you have for the collective working in our highest gift and our highest favor ask for messages full of unconditional love light healing clarity truth and understanding also asking for messages full of unconditional love divine love and light thank you so much for the messages in advance for the collective please protect our energy our mind our body our spirit and our soul family as we enter into the sacred divine space I say, I say, I say. so spirit messages do you have for the collective please and thank you it's gonna be our spirit message this is the sacred earth oracle okay Okay, so we have ooh, we have moderation and then repetition. And I just I just have a I have a, a consistency is key is what this is is what this is saying. Things will happen slowly but surely. Consistency is key. Don't give up. Don't lose this. Don't lose faith. Consistency is key. Okay, but we do have this beautiful moderation card. The first thing I saw was the hummingbirds. Of course, beautiful. Okay. So let's hop right in and let's see what this is about. I opened it up to patterns. I'm not going to lie. I started the reading before and I stopped. But this is the card. This is what I first opened it up to again. And I'm going to read it for you guys. It says a feeling that history is repeating. The patterns in your past, in your childhood, in your relationships, in your career are escapable. Okay. So exactly what you're experiencing, the patterns, the cycles, the things that you keep repeating, it's time for you to break the cycle. It's time for you to break conditioning. For some of you guys, you guys have been brought up a certain way or you guys are used to doing a certain things or you guys are so, um, this is how it's supposed to go based upon society. You get what I'm saying? And now that it's time for things to start changing mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And I feel like on the spiritual realm, some of you guys have been being tested. And that is why you guys have been very sensitive to energy. And for others of you guys, I also feel like in your relationships, you have been tested. You have been getting signs. You have been getting synchronicities to either walk away or start something new to open up your heart. For some of you guys, it's been to walk away. For some of you guys, it's been to break the cycle that you've constantly keep repeating five years. You get what I'm saying? For some of you guys, for others of you guys, some of you guys are so closed off to love that you don't allow love in. So when someone new comes, you shut the person down, you shut down, and then you wonder why love isn't coming in. Okay. It's time to break the patterns, okay? But it says stop and learn the lesson so you can move forward. There's no need to mindlessly, endlessly hit repeat. Look outside of what you know and break the cycle. Someone, perhaps the universe, is trying to tell you something. A unique response to a problem is needed. The universe has been trying to nudge you, tell you open your eyes to see a certain situation and you've been in denial you've been blinded by your own ego you've been blinded by your own condition you've been blinded by the comfortability you've been blinded by stagnation you've been procrastinating putting something off for too long and what spirit is saying that you're going to constantly keep repeating the same cycle you're only going to get so far and then you're going to take 10 steps back each and every time because where you're trying to go you will not elevate mentally you will not elevate spiritually you will not elevate because I got, I got romantically okay so some of you guys are it is in relationships you guys it's time for you guys to ascend and align yourself with a higher purpose a pur purpose you get what I'm saying and and I feel like it has it has connection with the divine partner 
But anyway, it's getting into the card. Hello, because um, that was a message for a message for a message. Thank you. But so we do have moderation here. Beautiful. It says a coping mechanism, a helper or an attitude that has served you reaches its limit. The impulse to pull back from a situation or a relationship. Okay. 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 Um, a stray word or action offers a taste of things to come. Letting go of moderation reveals more than expected. Letting go of moderation reveals more than expected. Resist or be resistant to adding insult to injury. When you remove emotions, what is left? Okay. So the spiritual meaning says love is the only thing you enter this world with. And it is only, it is the only thing you will take with you when you leave. It is your true essence. Everything else is transient, transient, like clouds passing by here for a moment and then gone. Look within you and you will see that love is not a distant love, but an ocean of light inside you. Okay. Go back to the first part. It says a coping mechanism, a helper or an attitude that has served you has reached its limit. So some of you guys have been so used to react in a certain way. Oh, I don't want to talk about it, so I'm going to shut down. Oh, I'm going to pick an argument. Oh, I'm going to gaslight. Oh, I'm going to manipulate. And this coping mechanism, this repeated cycle, this repeated pattern, this toxic trait, this um, your your comfort zone, what you go back to when you're not getting your way, when you're not hearing what you want to hear, or when it's time for you to progress and move forward. It's th this attitude, this mindset is ready to leave you. And you keep holding on to it because it's all you know. You grip onto it. You hold on to it tight. And you're like, no, I'm not ready. But spirit says you are. And it's time for you to break this cycle. Um, letting go of modera moderation reveals more than expected. Resist or be resisting, resistant to. Adding insult to injury. When you remove emotions, what is left? <laughs> if you take out <clears throat> how you feel about a situation. If you take out how something makes you feel, let's go there. If you take out how something makes you feel, when you try to elevate, what will you have left? Because you can only be manipulated for so long. You can only talk yourself out of something for so long. You can only live in fear for so long. You can only be without for so long. You can only feel resistant for so long. At what point do you say, you know what? My self deserves more. And that's the spiritual meaning. Love is the only thing that you have when you enter this world is your true essence. Everything else is transient. Love, mm -mm. It says, look within and you will see that love is not a distant shore, but an ocean of light inside you. Okay. If this don't scream self-love, I don't know what it is. Some of you guys need to look up the hummingbird to figure out what that spiritual meaning is for you. Okay. Spirit, can we get one more spirit message, please? Just one more spirit message from the collective. Thank you. It says unity, a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Okay. Some of you guys are ready to come into union or you guys have been manifesting a new partnership, a new business, a something. You guys have been manifesting a new move. You get what I'm saying? Um, something new. Okay. It says a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. The only way that can happen is if you start to shed the light on some of the things in which you make excuses for. Okay. You ready, you radiate and attract great love. Okay. And the second that you start stepping outside of your comfort zone, the more you will attract what it is that you're looking for with this unity. I want one more because this is beautiful. The stars here at the bottom of the deck, hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. But things will happen in moderation, like I said. Consistency is key. Do not lose faith. The world card. Thank you. 
be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. Like I said, for some of you guys, you guys have gotten into the habit, the pattern. You guys have created these cycles within the, your everyday living that when something is for you, you close it out because you've been hurt so much. You, you, you're you holding on to so much. For some of you guys, you actually have a physical person in the way of your blessing and this person has to be removed, okay? For some of you guys, I feel like you guys are going to be traveling because the world is here. You guys are going to be traveling. You guys are going to be uniting um, uniting with people across the country. Some of you guys are needing to start that spiritual business or career. I'm getting drawn to a deck. Some of you guys, look, this card says you're giving too many fucks. Give zero, period. For some of you guys, you guys are caring about too, too much about what other people are seeing, seeing, saying, their perception. You guys are caring too much about it. This unity card and the world card, it's time for everybody to come together and start working in the unison consistency is key everything will take time this world card and unity i feel like this is the hair font and this is the world and i feel like some of you guys are going to um really be connecting with individuals across the world traveling um so on and so forth it says a divine understanding and i feel like the divine understands your purpose it's just time for you to understand it period okay the moon is here at the bottom of the deck the moon is here at the bottom of the deck. It says, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Luck. This is the card that came up with it. I put it back. Oop, look, all these cards trying to be seen. Okay, baby. Um, luck is here. This luck card says, you are you are right to be strong and optimistic. Wait, you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. So listen to your intuition because luck is on your side and then you do have new beginnings coming, but patience is needed, okay? Yes, things will be very challenging, but this is gonna be something that you truly love. Do not let the devil stop you, okay? Because like I said, a journey, you will be traveling. You will be going to new places. Um, some of you guys are going to be ascending. You guys are um, reawakening to certain things. Um, there is no specific time for anything. It's just going to, when you're ready, it's going to happen. So this is why it's time for you to cancel out a lot of the things, thinking, the over, the overthinking, the person, place, or thing. Even if it's you, you got, it's time for you to cancel out a lot of things. Okay. Give me clarification for this. Thank you. Moderation came out. Wow. A fucking incredible. Things are going to happen in moderation. Take your time. Changes happen. They, they, it, slowly but surely okay this is an adventure you do have new beginnings here but this time out this blockage that you have created for yourself or that someone has helped you create for yourself in the time in the time when things are slow and not moving that is the time where you need to pay attention the most that is the time where you need to listen to your thoughts the most that is the time where you need to connect with your spirit team the most that is the time that you need to align yourself the most get grounded get rooted that is the time because after this time is up it's nothing but go, go time, perseverance, listening to your intuition. I feel like your intuition has been trying to push you and guide you in a certain direction, a certain flow, a certain path. And you guys have been um, not so much ignoring, but you guys have not been, you guys haven't been listening. You guys have been putting this off. It's something that you've been supposed to be doing or something that you want to do or something that you've been intuitively, intuitively nudged to do. And you guys have been putting this off by procrastinating. You, you guys, you, got, you haven't looked, your ego is here. Your ego is here your pride okay some of you guys when it comes to music um okay because i just feel like a creative dance or something like that when it comes to music or music inspires you or something like that okay but all in all what happens is your pride gets in the way your pride is your ego your ego is the overthinking your ego is the fear your ego is the fear-based thoughts the fear of change your ego is the fear of opening up your ego is the is the is the thing that tells you everything that's going to possibly go wrong in a situation to keep you stuck stuck and stagnant okay that's your ego that is your ego so with that being said moderation came out twice <laughs> interesting surrender what is this what is, what is the collective needs to surrender to within the next 24 to 48 hours surrender to spirit period this is a completely different message from the message that i was just pulling completely different message you understand me completely different message surrendering to spirit 
Some of you guys are needing to turn to spirit, God, the most high, the divine universe, the, the supreme, the Holy Spirit, what, whatever you guys are connected to. You get what I'm saying? Some of you guys are needing to surrender to spirit. It says once you've done everything you can do to achieve a goal, turning the situation over to the divine, let spirit work is magic for you. Some of you guys are thinking too much. You guys are worrying about the outcome too much. And all spirit is asking you to do is let me have, let me take control. Get take your ego, take your control out of the way and let me let me work. OK, some of you guys are really needing to connect to your spirit team at this time as well. OK, look, surrender to your fear of change is here. And then what else just came out in defensiveness? OK, you guys are so guarded. You guys are so guarded and trying to protect yourself. But this protection, this guard, this block that you have up is fear. OK. I need you to understand that this is fear. It's all fear based thoughts, fear based thinking, fear based movements, fear based reactions. This is all fear. These are all problems that you created within your mind's eye. You get what I'm saying? Which is going to stop and block you from moving forward. OK, and this is why it's time for you to surrender to spirit things have not opened up for you it has not happened for you because you have not surrendered to spirit yet you have you're scared to take the leap of faith you get what i'm saying you're scared to go in a new direction and because you're scared to go in a new direction this is what's stopping your completion this is what's stopping you from elevating okay the defensiveness what does it say defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response and i just feel like when when change comes you get defensive you get scared you get you start blocking you start blocking your blessings you start fighting against what spirit is trying to make you fight against you get what i'm saying you start fighting against what spirit is making you try to fight against you you get ready to leave a relationship and a person gets to telling you like oh oh my god and what about all the times and what about this and what about this we've been together for so long look some of you guys got kids involved what about the kids this is down the third stop it that is your own insecurities coming out in them they're projecting they don't know what life will be like without you and they're the one who's going to miss out on the opportunity because they had their chance. Now it's your chance to try to live for yourself. For others of you guys, like I said, you guys are blocking your blessings because of your toxic traits that you have created. Look, I can't make this shit up. Surrender to the outdated beliefs about yourself, surrender to fear and receiving love and support. Some of you guys are so are so hard on. I've came too far. I've done this and I've been through this and I've been through that. You've been through it, but it's still affecting you mentally. Because when something new presents itself, you stop it and block it. Surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself with receiving to love and support. Stop, stop blocking your blessings. Don't react. Just accept. Become aware of what's going on. Okay? So, with that being said. Oh, this is a message for somebody. Let me see what's coming towards you guys. We get energy for the collective, please. So we have the three of pentacles. This is in reverse. Well, put it back with this three of pentacles in reverse. There is a stop, there is a hold, there is some type of delay. But the nine of wands is here because I just feel you trying to move forward with the world in reverse. This is a repeated cycle or pattern in some type of relationship. Okay, hold on, let me pull two more. We have the two of swords. Oh, that flew. In, in the Knight of Pentacles. What flew? Because I got to know what flew. The Knight of Swords. Wow. I just feel like for some of you guys, you guys are trying so hard. You want it now. You want it now. You want it now. But Spirit is saying you need to take your time. You're at your crossroads right now because you haven't cut off or you haven't stopped or you haven't. Um, truly fully connected with your spirit team. Okay, 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 okay. Because I'm putting this back anyway. But with this three of pentacles, there is no growth because of how you're trying to move forward. Okay? 
there's a cycle that has not fully wrapped up that you need to wrap up before it can come in. And you've been taking so long to wrap up this cycle with this Knight of Pentacles here. You want it, but there's a lesson about loyalty here that needs to be had. And I don't know if you think someone is loyal or you're looking for loyalty or I don't know what it is. But with this Knight of Pentacles, you're looking for consistency. You're looking for growth. You're looking for change. You're you, This is all the things that you're looking for, but you're accepting less than that. And that's the lesson here. And that's why it's the Two of Swords. You're at your Two of Swords because it's like you already know what you need to do. You already know what cycle you need to cut off. But yet you still keep making excuses for the cycle on why you can accept. And what this Knight of Pentacles is here is basically saying to combat this Two of Swords. To combat this Two of Swords is you're going to be forever stuck in this cycle. Because you're not ready. You, it's like you're ready but you're not you're not ready you're not ready to you, this is something that you know you need to do that you're not cutting off that you're not making a decision you're being indecisive about it you're going back and forth in your head trying to weigh out the options but understanding that you're looking and searching for balance in this energy but the balance is after you make the decision that's when the balance will come in after you complete this cycle Again, some of you guys are trying to rush. You guys are trying to move forward. You're going to try. You're trying to, but spirit is asking you to slow down. That's why it's the page of pentacles with the sun, because there's something that's going on here. And that, that isn't quite, it's a facade. The sun in reverse, this is not happiness. It's an illusion. It makes you think that you're happy or you, 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 you convince yourself that you're happy. You try to manifest, you try to manifest abundance, but how can you manifest abundance in this energy? The sun with the, the 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 sun in reverse with the ace of pentacles. I mean, shit. The sun in reverse with the um, yeah, the ace of pentacles. Like I said, that's that's you. That's you trying to convince yourself that you're happy, but you can't manifest shit in reverse with the sun. The that magician there, you can't. What is it that you're trying to manifest? You're trying to manifest a new start, but you haven't completed or closed the cycle when it comes to a relationship. You haven't left the job that you've been meaning to leave. You've been you've been holding on to this job for so long, and this is why you haven't been able to move forward. But now that you have, but the second that you cut out this job. And the second that you start opening up your mind to the infinite possibilities, the second that you walk away from this relationship that's causing all the inconveniences, that's causing all the, the, the turmoil, that's causing all the stress, that's causing all the burdens. Once you release all these different heavy burdens, once you clear this relationship with yourself, let's talk about it. Once you clear this relationship with yourself, you'll be able to move more free. Once you get to the bottom of what's, what's causing this unhappiness, what's causing this dis-ease, what's causing discomfort, what's causing depression, what's causing causing what, what once you get down to the bottom of what's stopping you from being happy from pursuing what it is you want once you get down to the bottom of the that then you'll be able to manifest the life in which you deserve the life in which you want because the queen of swords in reverse is here okay i don't know if some of you guys need to cut off some of the things from the past okay look this is tied to seven of swords energy this is deception energy you guys are needing to do a lot of soul searching to see where it is what it is that you want this weekend i just feel like whatever is happening this weekend whatever is being brought to your attention after you listen to this reading or whatever is going on in your life at this time there is a need for you to look at the in, the ways in which you the ways the ways in which you are betraying yourself with the seven of swords some of you guys get to thinking about the past that's why the Queen of Swords is here. You get to thinking about the past. You get to looking about at the, the past. The things that you didn't cut off, the things you should have cut off, but you didn't. That's why you're coming up in reverse. Because this is negative thinking. These are these are negative thoughts. Or they're not so much negative, but these are the things that's keeping you tied to the past. You get what I'm saying? And this is what's stopping and blocking your beginning. Look. Look, I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. Some, for some of you guys, it's an actual woman. It's an actual person. Male or female, just depends on who's watching. But it's an actual person. It could be a mother figure or it could be an ex or whatever. But this person doesn't even know how to nurture you. For some of you guys, some of you guys, some of you guys is in these relationships and you guys are using the kids against a partner. You get what I'm saying? Mm-mm. I don't like it. Look, the Ace of Pentacles is here. Thank you. 
the queen of wands, king of wands with the ace of pentacles i said the queen some some of you guys are in your it is it's mixing between energy but with this king of wands and the ace of pentacles whatever you are doing whoever you are doing it with they have ill intentions for you this king of wands in reverse with this ace of pentacles is they only want to love nurture and feed you as long as you're doing what they want you to do that they, they have no they have no intentions on taking this to the next level they have no intentions on helping you if this is a person at your job maybe a boss or something they're keeping you stuck for their own benefit you get what i'm saying this 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 situation right here this situation is not going to bring you fulfillment it's not going to bring you happiness it's going to bring you a tower it's going to stop your money. It's going to stop your growth. It's going to stop your abundance. This situation, so take this how it resonates. Need this be a relationship that you're in. Need this be your uh, communication with yourself and how you're constantly always looking at the past, the things that you did, and, and really just putting yourself in a low vibrational energy by reflecting on who have hurt you in a negative way. Instead of finding who have hurt you and trying to liberate, trying to heal, you're reflecting and you're like, this has hurt me. This has left me. This is why I'm here. This is, I could have been this. I could have did that. I could have, no, 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 hell no. That's out. So let, let's pull your best advice here so I can wrap this reading up. Spirit, what's the best advice for the collective? The lovers. Some of you guys are forced to make a decision. Some of you guys have new love coming. But since this is the best advice, choosing your heart, choosing yourself, choosing love. Like I said, in the beginning of the read, some of you guys are going to take off when it comes to traveling or when it comes to, because it's the lovers with a six of fire. And these are all sixes. So maybe some of you guys need to look up 666 or the energy of six. Give me one more. Best advice. Yes. Yes. Okay. So when we, when I see, okay. So you have the lovers and you have the six of fire. Then you have the ego, which is the devil. And then you have the eight of cups. And this is all I'm saying. The satisfaction, the fulfillment, the love that you are seeking, the love that you want, the 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 success, it's all tied to you walking away from something. Mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, something or someone, person, place, or thing. It could be a job that you need to walk away from to start your business. It could be just you stepping outside of your comfort zone and not feeling stuck and trapped in your own thoughts, in your own karmic relationships a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things negative or fear-based thoughts that is your ego a false sense of entrapment you convincing yourself that you're stuck living in denial not accepting the truth for what it is okay being overly focused on material things you want money you want success you you want material abundance but your spirit is physically trapped in a situation that's no longer serving you However, this is resonating for you. It's time for you to make the decision. It's time for you to choose love, whatever the love is. The love could be self-love. The love could be maybe some of you guys are in third-party situations and it's time for you to move on, move forward. Okay, what is this? What are the dominant emotions that run my life? It says, how do you feel your day? Stress or joy, trust or anger, anxiety or peace? We have only today, right now, the journey. No goal, no destination will bring us the feeling we seek. But... When we begin feeling every day with that, which we value most. But when we begin feeling every day with that, which we value most, we will attract more of it. This is fulfillment. Today's soul action. It says lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values, and your expectations to match your desires. Does what you want match what you're currently doing? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? What do you want to feel? Okay. Going back to the top, it says, but we, but when we begin feeling every day with that, which we value most, are you every day? What is the main things that you need? Five things that you need. But when we are feeling every day with that, which we value most, we will attract more of it. This is fulfillment. Okay. 
the lovers, the six of fire, it's time for you to, to go in a new direction. You will be victorious. If you are wondering whether or not you will, because you allow your ego to come in and you're scared to walk away or you're scared the what you're walking away from is your ego. You're walking away from being, being stuck and trapped in the situation. You're walking away from being overly focused on material things. You're walking away from negative and fear-based thoughts. You're walking away from outdated versions of yourself, connections, relationships with people. That is what you're walking away from to go towards your two of cups, which is the lovers, which is the new business adventure, which is the new self, which is your new relationship. Okay. I'm going to leave you guys there. Three of fire is here at the bottom of the deck abundance things look very good have patience at this time make long-term plans but look releasing the burdens is very important at this time with this ten of fire too much work accept help from others life is out of balance stress related health concerns okay i'll see you guys later bye don't forget to like share comment and subscribe